What are people talking about on social media today? Dogs at polling stations. Londoners are bringing their pups to the polls in the latest election day trend in the UK. Hello, I'm Kate Hockey and this is the 406. And now, here are the top statewide headlines at this hour. A man and a woman are pronounced, were pronounced dead at the scene of a shooting in Missoula Wednesday night, while the shooter, a 36-year-old male, remains in critical condition from a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. Missoula Police spokesman Travis Welsh said today that initial evidence suggests the shooter came into the woman's home. The woman then called a family friend to come to the residence. When the friend arrived, the 36-year-old took a, out a handgun and fired, fatally wounding the other two people before turning the gun on himself. A potential plea agreement in the case of a Charlotte man ac accused of killing his wife appears to, close, to, to be close to being finalized. Adrian Michael McElderly remained in the Lake County Jail while his scheduled omnibus hearing today was continued for two weeks. He is charged with deliberate homicide and tampering with evidence in the shooting death of 29-year-old Raylynn Charlotte. Three Republican tax relief bills have died at the pen of Montana's Democratic governor this year. Governor Steve Bullock, uh, Bullock vetoed Senate Bill 171 on Monday. It was the latest tax proposal to join Bullock's 50 vetoes as of this morning. The measure from Senator Bruce Tudfit of Kalispell would have replaced Montana's seven income tax brackets with two tax rates and based capital gains taxes on those rates. Two brothers have been sentenced to prison for their roles in stealing more than $11,000 in one-ounce silver coins from, Helena, from a Helena coin shop. District Judge Mike Manahan sentenced 50-year-old William James Lawrence to 10 years in prison. He sentenced Lawrence's brother, 43-year-old Steve Dubois, to eight years in prison during a hearing in March. Armed police officers lined up outside a University of Montana apartment Tuesday, ready to respond to a hostage situation. It, inside, 31-year-old Jamie Greenwood was, Greenwood was obliviously playing Minecraft online. That is, until an anonymous gamer messaged her and told her to look outside. The gamers had swatted Greenwood by making an anonymous false police report designed to prompt a dramatic response. That's it for the 406. Subscribe to the 406 YouTube channel and tell us your thoughts about the show in a comment. Have a great evening.